So tragically, the actor Isaac Cappy um, has committed suicide. Um, now, you may not be too familiar with Isaac Cappy. Um, I'm not too familiar with Isaac Cappy. Um, I only became familiar with him because uh, of things he said uh, in the last year, um, mainly in relation to um, some very deeply disturbing accusations and revelations that he made about Hollywood. Um, but Isaac Cappy is, you know, he's not really a, a leading man, <clears throat> I'd say, um, from what I know, but, you know, um, but been in some significant films, you know, maybe he's been in four and Terminator Salvation. Um, I haven't seen either of those films. <clears throat> um, what I would say is because it was interesting because when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's that guy. And um, you, you could say based on his behavior um, over the last year or two, um, that maybe um, maybe this was seen coming. I don't know. But Isaac Cappy, um, oh, if you look at this, this is from the the Daily Mail because like I was just cruising through it and um, there it was. So you know, for and Terminator Salvation actor Isaac Cappy, forty two, who made headlines for choking was choking. Paris Hilton has killed himself by jumping from an Arizona bridge after leaving a note saying he hadn't been a good guy. Um, I don't know about this choking Paris uh, Jackson incident. I've, I've never heard of that before. So I don't know. And it is choking. So hopefully they can um, <clears throat> shed a bit more light on what that exactly is. But um, if you are familiar with what Isaac Cappy has said, then you know what I'm going to say. But um, <clears throat> he's, he's similar, I, I would say, maybe to Owen Benjamin in a way, as in he's spoken out about things that he doesn't like that's going on in Hollywood and it's kind of been, as far as I'm aware, according to him, uh, blacklisted, blackballed by um, by Hollywood. So, he, you know, work, work ain't there no more because of what he said. Um, he's been on InfoWars. Um, He's done interviews with other, you know, other people that have uh, indulged in the realms of conspiracy. So, what is the shit he said? Because just want to talk about it because you know the the, the proper conspiracy heads are going to be out there like calling foul play because they will be because um, that's 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 what they do. Um, he. Isaac Happy basically, first of all, accused um, Seth Green. You know Seth Green. Seth Green is another sort of bit part actor. You know Seth Green. He was in like the Scooby Doo films, and no, he wasn't in Scream. That's Jamie Kennedy. I always get those two mixed up. You know, Seth Green hasn't hasn't got like the greatest body of work. <laughs> um, obviously, he did does voice for Family Guy. I guess that's another thing he does. Um, Basically, he said, Seth Green um, said code words to him at, at a dinner. Uh, apparently, one of the code words for, it was all to do with child abuse, basically. And one of those code words is chicken. How do you like the chicken? Apparently, he said to him, it's like, what do you mean? How do you like the chicken? Is what he said. So, apparently, that's, that's a code word for something to do with um, heinous crimes against children. Okay, so let's, just, let's just leave it at that without... Trying to um, <laughs> disturb YouTube's algorithm, um, <clears throat> and Isaac Cappy said that Seth Green took him to this. Um, like there's this sort of secret room, like a door behind a bookcase or something like that. You can look at the video up yourself. Um, and went, "This is where we keep the children." That's exactly how he relays what happened, and you can imagine Seth Green saying it in such a way. Um, and maybe he was joking I don't I don't know or maybe it never happened who knows but this is what Isaac Cappy said and he said that he was talking about you know a, a huge problem with basically pedophilia pedophilia that's how the Americans say it we say pedophilia don't we um, in Hollywood 
he said Seth Green was one of them. Him, Seth Green, and his wife, and I can't remember what his wife's name is. Um, and others are all into this shit. Now I discovered this uh, stuff said by Isaac Cappy because I'd seen, you know, I was following like the whole Corey Feldman thing. I find Corey Feldman fascinating. Um, and obviously there's the documentary An Open Secret, which is quite distressing. And all this shit with Brian Singer and all this stuff. Because um, it seemed bizarre that the whole Me Too thing sort of happened, you know, based on stuff going on in Hollywood. And yet this um, this stuff to do with children that is kind of out there. It's kind of been ignored by the mainstream media. Um, and there is, you know, if you watch An Open Secret, there's, there's plenty of evidence in there that's concrete. Um, there's a couple of child stars in there who are just, as grown-ups, are just so, so disturbed. And uh, one kid drunk himself stupid, uh, almost died, and now he's, um, you know, basically <clears throat> uh, paralyzed. And, you know, it's, it's totally fucked him up. It's totally fucked him up. I can't remember exactly what, what the right term is to describe his condition, but, you know, he, he, let's just say he's fucked up, man. Isn't that enough to say, yeah, it fucked him up, and then he fucked himself up with booze. Um, so it is out there, and it's, it's always been strange that everyone's sort of ignored it, and that's why it's an open secret is a great title for a documentary, because it is like, well, it's an open secret, and no one seems to be talking about it. I think even, you know, one of the the other kid in different strokes, you know, you know, he had um, Gary Coleman and the the bigger kid. Um, and he's talked about, you know, the abuse he suffered. And of course we have Corey Feldman. And uh, Corey Feldman, you know, keeps asking for money to make this documentary to expose it all. Um, so Isaac Cappy called him out on social media and said, and said, look, it's Steven Spielberg. This is what Isaac Cappy said. He said, Steven Spielberg is the big Hollywood name that abused Corey Feldman. He's the one that he's been wanting to expose. And he just comes out and says, it's Steven Spielberg. There you go, Corey. I said it, so you don't have to. So stop asking for money for your silly documentary. That's what he said. That's, that's what he said. That's Isaac Cappy. Um, you know... That's what he said. It's interesting. Now, do I think Steven Spielberg is, you know, the Hollywood version of Jimmy Savile? <sighs> I hope not. <laughs> um, so, you know, that sort of puts context. It's why it's, it's interesting. Um, it's tragic, obviously, but it's, 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 there's sort of layers to this of, like, why, he's, you know, and people might theorize about why he killed himself. Uh, or maybe he was just truly, you know, messed up. Maybe the whole you know, flinging accusations at people that were once his, you know, close friends <clears throat> sort of looks into his mindset and um, maybe he's just deeply unhappy. And I don't know. But it says here, you know, for and terminate salvation actor Isaac Happy has been confirmed as the man who jumped to his death from a bridge in Arizona on Monday, according to TMZ. Officials confirmed on Tuesday that Cappy was struck by a Ford pickup truck after hurling himself from the Trans Western Road Bridge onto Interstate 40, where he died, according to a statement from Bart Graves, a spokesperson of the Arizona State uh, Department of Public Safety. That was fun. He trumped off a bridge and hit a car light. Yeah. And there he is. So in the 24 hours leading up to his death, Cappy posted a long statement on Instagram where he wrote, I haven't been a good guy, and I have been abusive to people who love me. The self-admitted drug user made headlines in 2018 for allegedly assaulting Michelle, uh, Michael, Michelle Jackson, Michael Jackson's daughter Paris by choking her during a game, a game night party. The native Angelino has also publicly accused the native Angelino publicly accused Seth Green of being a paedophile. All right, the native Angelino. So I just don't understand what that is. Yes, it's accused Seth Green of being a paedophile. Arizona state troopers were called to the scene and said, yeah, we won't go into the details. We already know. 
So Cappy's Instagram post on Sunday was captioned, Beware the man has nothing to lose, for he has nothing to protect. In the message posted as a screenshot of text he wrote, over the course of the last week, through introspection, that should have happened many years ago, I have come to some stark revelations about my character. It is a testament to my utter ignorance that these revelations had not come sooner. You see, I believed myself to be a good guy. I have not been a good guy. In fact, I've been a pretty bad guy throughout my life. Cappy penned a scathing assessment of his own character writing. I have used people for money. I have betrayed many people and much trust. I have sold drugs. I have taxed delinquencies. I have debts. I have abused my body with cigarettes, drugs, and alcohol. Well, I can relate to that. Throughout the message, Cappy mentioned the Q movement and said, I am so, so sorry to have brought shame upon the greatest military operation of all time. Cappy referenced the suicide, referenced suicide in a metaphor as well, writing, Q says that they give people enough rope to hang themselves and I have hung myself. He also claimed to have betrayed Donald Trump and Jesus Christ in the missive referencing death again. I have told people in the Trump administration I am willing to admit to my many crimes in a public setting and committed to execution in a public setting, Cappy wrote. A nation cannot suffer its traitors, and I am no exception. No. Oh. That's deep. Whatever that is supposed to mean. I mean, well, here is. You know, he says, I've wasted much money on speculation and gambling. I've gambled away my future. Time that could have been utilized to nurture my many gifts has been wasted on frivolity. And while it's true I've spent many, many hours of research and disseminating information about bad actors, I've had so little care for introspection of my own actions. It is a testament to my sheer arrogance that I had not come to these revelations sooner. To the Q movement, I'm sorry. I've brought shame on the greatest military operation of all time. But really... (coughs) I've not been a good guy. I've expected help without putting proper work to help myself. I'm just reading all these capital bits. Sheer arrogance. I did not even reflect on this fact. I've been a great betrayer of trust, a squanderer of gifts and goodwill. Q says they will give enough people rope to hang themselves and I've hung myself. To those I've inspired, keep up the fight. It is noble work. However, I have not been a noble man. I am an imposter. To those who have offered their trust and care, I apologize. I have wronged many people throughout my life, and while I have many talents, I have not utilized them. To Jesus, I am sorry I have betrayed you again. This time the shoe is on the other foot, though. I am having... I use my attention on darkness. President Trump, I have betrayed you and squandered goodwill and I shall not forgive and I shall not forever be known for my actions. These revelations have come way too late but I am not so arrogant now that I would deny them. In the end I shall be remembered for my actions and not my hollow words. To many people I have acted abusively towards I am very, very sorry. To my former friends I have used and betrayed I am sorry. To those I have deceived I am sorry although I must say in my sheer arrogance I did not even realise I had been the bad actor all along. And while it's true, I threw myself into a very dangerous situation, outing the truth of Hollywood. I did not reflect on my own truths and many, many shortcomings. (sighs) Now, Cappy was reportedly being investigated by the Los Angeles Police Department for threatening Paris Jackson and other celebrities. According to TMZ, Cappy allegedly choked Paris during a game night party. This might have been referenced in his farewell message as well, where he wrote, I have been abusive to people who love me, including my family. Yeah. The 21-year-old model had allegedly received rambling and scary texts from her former pal. Sources claim she initially responded to them to help him because she thought he was suicidal at the time as well. She was later forced to move home and hire extra bodyguards, along with blocking Cappy's number. Police opened an investigation into the actor after seeing a particularly menacing tweet from Cappy on August 1st that read, In light of the interesting traffic happening around my house, I want to make something crystal clear. 
while I am a very strong advocate of peaceful disclosure, make no mistake, assets are in place, and if you kill me, or even try, it will rain. 50 cows in the Hollywood Hills. Whoa. Per his Twitter account, Cappy appeared to be on a crusade to take down the people he believes are sexually abusing children. He wrote in his post on Sunday, While it's true, I've spent many, many hours of research and disseminating information about bad actors. I've had so little care for introspection about my own actions. Yeah. His timeline was full of retweeted news stories about pedophiles and rants about high-profile people accused of sex crimes and some who aren't. He accused Green of being a pedophile in a video posted in July. Cappy had also, according to his Twitter, tried to reach out to Corey Feldman to take on pedophilia together. Corey blocked him on Twitter and did not respond. You know, why would Corey Feldman block Isaac Cappy? It's not like, I mean, Isaac Cappy's had some wacky behavior, but it's not like what Corey Feldman's behavior isn't wacky. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on, Corey. Corey's saying people are trying to kill him all the time. He previously called out cast of Guardians of the Galaxy for defending ousted director James Gunn and Bill Clinton. Cappy added, it should be noted that I have recently been made to believe that I am the reincarnation of Judas Iscariot, the great betrayer, and while I could have utilized this period of great awakening to awaken myself, I have used it to focus on the uh, on the darkness of others and not the darkness within. Cappy ended his final message writing, See the light in others. Nurture the light in yourself. This lesson has come too late for me. But perhaps I can inspire you. I'll be using the remainder of my time on earth to atone for my transgressions and to seek the light within, in others and myself. The letter was mysteriously dated at the bottom, July the 4th, 2019, and signed off with Return of the King. Return of the King, Return to the Light. <clears throat> well, I mean, <laughs> you know, that's some Tupac Machiavelli shit right there, July the 4th, 2019. Uh, what does it mean? Mm, I don't know. What's happening on July 24th? I don't know. Look it up. Probably when people say, well, something's going to happen then. Maybe it was just a final troll. Who knows? But I think if you look at it like right to the end, even when he's um, killing himself. He's adamant about what he's, you know, he's still adamant about what he said about all this paedophilia going on in Hollywood. Um, and obviously, he's had problems, which has culminated in this final act. Um, but I don't think you should dismiss everything he said. I'm not sure about the whole Seth Green thing. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Or Steven Spielberg. But right to the very end, he was adamant about this. Um, you know, I think there's enough truths in what he says. I think if you, you know, if you scrape away all the lunacy uh, and obviously the the hurt and, and I guess touches of mental illness, if you like, whatever it is, if you scrape, you know. If you scrape beneath it, I think there is, I think there is something to what he's been saying, for sure. Um, because it's not just him saying it. And I think if you if you look at so many um, s stars in Hollywood who go absolutely mental, you know, it's no wonder. I think there is a huge sickness there. It's like a big cloud of. Of lies. Everyone sort of has to say the same thing, think the same way, and yet there seems to be constantly there's this underbelly of filth, uh, something really rotten in that industry, really rotten in that culture, and yet they go around preaching at people, telling people how to act these days, especially these days, you know, saying Donald Trump is deplorable, and yet. They have been complicit in deplorable actions by many people, which has been proven already. And yet, there's probably way more deep beneath the surface. And I think this is important to <clears throat> just to remember. You know, the guy was wacky, yeah, but he was speaking. Some, there's some. There's truths in there. There are truths in there. And um, I think the fact that these, you know, it's been 
it's, it's been outed publicly a lot of stuff about what's going on in Hollywood and yet they've chosen just to just to talk about Harvey Weinstein or Kevin Spacey um, you know, I'm not saying what Harvey Weinstein did is, is is better than that but why why is that at the forefront all the stuff about children not because it what suits certain narratives I don't know maybe seems that way um, but I think there's something really sordid really sordid in Hollywood and I think um, if 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 a guy's to be remembered for anything um, let it be that you know he did it you know if he's inspired you to look into it and expose it that's good um, you know well, like I said you know clearly had a lot of issues and I think it you know I think there's uh, the truths and the lies are blurred a bit but yeah he's adamant to the end and I think it's worth looking into definitely I think there is because like I said there's too much evidence already out there and the fact that it hasn't blown up and been talked about as much as it should be is interesting and concerning and kind of says a hell of a lot about Hollywood and um, you know and their moral compass really and what they really care about so R.I.P. Isaac Cappy